Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are somewhere around in Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a brand new trailer, those are the two brands that we carry. If you're looking for something used, we have everything from little bumper pulls to big LQs that we take in on trade. So what I've got right behind me is actually very similar to the inventory trailers that we carry. Um, this was a customer that came in and they looked at some of the stuff we had on hand and they loved the little Logan two horse bumper pull bullseye, but they wanted it in white with aluminum wheels. So the cool thing about Logan is they build big runs of trailers for us. So they have a lot of inventory sitting on hand. That way, if we don't have something in particular, sometimes we can go back to Logan and see if they've built one for an extra run that's available, that's sitting on the lot ready to get here a little bit sooner so instead of waiting the um the allotted 8 to 10 or 8 to 12 timeline for getting a brand new trailer built in in a logan um, it expedited the process and we were able to get it here within a couple of weeks so what i've got right behind me let's start up front here it's a 2024 logan coach bullseye two horse bumper pull now for those of you that aren't familiar with the logan coach brand they are a galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting. So they're kind of a hybrid trailer in that you get the strength and durability of galvanized steel, but then they lighten it up with this aluminum sheeting. So galvanized steel is not like black steel. We don't have the rust issues that you do on black steel. Uh, they actually do a lifetime limited warranty for the first customer and against any structural corrosion. It's galvanized steel, so you're not gonna have that issue that you would on, on rust. Um, so they're comfortable standing behind it for the first owner for a lifetime. Now, anywhere you do see that galvanized steel, you will see this, it's called vortex lining. If you guys have ever had the bed of your pickup uh, rhino lined or put bed liner in it, it's very similar to that. So extremely chip resistant, scratch resistant, uh, it really keeps this front of this trailer really nice and clean so that if you go to turn around and sell this, you know, five years down the road, it's going to look a lot more like a brand new trailer than a used one. It helps prevent any surface rust on it and just gives it a nice clean, sleek appearance. You'll see this vortex lining carried into the tack room, into the stall area. Uh, it's, it's really, really durable. I have a lot of people that ask if we can put this vortex lining in other trailers um, in other compartments they really like how well it holds up right above that we've got the diamond plate they carry it nice and high so that if you're driving down the road bumper pulls especially are susceptible to getting a lot of road blast right here in this area and that diamond plate is a lot more durable than this 050 white aluminum sheet right here so it's gonna help prevent those rock tips from from really being noticeable in this section and that's where the majority of those rock chips will hit. So that kind of helps prevent issues that you have right there. We've got a little crank jack on this one. If you wanted to, you could always swap it out for a little electric jack. It's really not that hard to um, spin that handle and get it up and down onto your truck. But if it's just something you don't want to do, we swap those out all the time here at TransWest. And then I, earlier I mentioned that these customers had seen some of our two horse bumper pulls that we had sitting here and they were in different colors. So the cool thing about these bullseyes, it's their mid-tier level. So they've got their crossfires, which are entry level. You can't really change much on those. They've got the bullseyes, which have a lot of standard features that are upgraded, but then you have a little bit of flexibility in what you can choose. And then they have their full-blown custom riots. We sell mostly the bullseyes here on the lot. I think everybody likes the upgrades they make on them. And one of the upgrades that you can do is you can swap out the sheet color, usually for no charge. And there's not very many colors that Bullseye has that has an upcharge. So if you wanted this in a silver or a gray, um, chances are we can get that without having a color upcharge. So that's a really cool feature about these Logan Bullseyes. Now, as far as specs on these, you're gonna be pretty standard. So if you need to go for extra tall, extra wide, you're gonna be bumped into a custom riot model. But the Logan Bullseyes are six, nine wide, they're seven tall. Um, they've got 39 inch wide stalls. We have swing out saddle racks, standard on all of your Bullseye models. 
and these are actually adjustable so if you've got additional saddles that you need to store in your tack room we can actually get more of these posts and get them added in here so that you can have additional saddle tiers on this post as of the 24s this is something that they upgraded which is really cool so you can now adjust those whereas before they were in fixed positions they come standard with this little brush box on the door window above so you can kind of open that up and get some airflow moving through and then in the tack room this customer wanted to make sure that they had a water tank so that was something you can upgrade on your bullseyes they come standard with these 12 bridle hooks along this back wall. It's all carpeted underneath them so that it's nice and quiet for those horses. Once again, that vortex lining, you'll see it's carried on into this tack room here. So if you need to push anything against this, this wall here, it's gonna protect that wall area from getting scratched up. We've got two lights on this um, tack room area, one for right outside here. And it's a little LED spotlight that you can angle based on what you need. And then you've got an interior uh, LED light so you can see what you're doing at night. Back in this corner here, um, this one has aluminum wheels on it. So the spare is the exact same as what's running on the ground. You actually have a warranty that comes with this tire separate from the eight year structural to your hitch to bumper warranty that Logan offers. So it's through Lion's Head and it's a one year, no questions asked, two year roadside assistance, and five year against any manufacturer defects. So you're gonna have a really great warranty just on these tires. And that is part of your factory warranty. So you don't have to pay extra for that. It's really great. It helps cover you um, in the event that you have hit a road hazard or something like that. You don't have to worry about your tires for that first year. So as we work our way back here, we're running on two 3,500 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles on this one. Once again, you'll see those nice aluminum wheels and then as we work our way up you've got this side extrusion this was an upgrade on the 24 24 models um, they used to have a corrugated side sheet which dressed up the side of the trailer but didn't really do anything structurally this um, side extrusion actually interlocks into each other and adds a lot of structural strength to the side of the trailer it's also a lot more wear resistant so if you've got horses that like to um, scratch their teeth against this. It's gonna be a lot less noticeable on something like this versus this white sheet here. Two tirings per side on the exterior. And then you've got big bus windows on the hip side. Once we work our way around to the head side, you'll see those big drop down windows that everybody loves on a Logan. And then as you work your way up, they've added a couple additional uh, marker lights on the 2024 models. And they've added an additional uh, spotlight on the exterior so a great amount of light was added on this round of 24 models so back in the stall area it's pretty standard back here uh, you've got that vortex lining kick wall here so it's going to be really resistant to those horses that like to paw and kick and then as you work your way up we've got the aluminum sheeted roof roof fence they're two-way roof fence so you can pop them forward, get the air pushed in, or push them back and it'll pull the air out. Um, as far as the floor, we've got the standard option, which is what we did on this particular trailer. So you've got the wood floor and it's coated in that vortex lining. So that vortex lining is gonna prevent all of the urine from just sitting on top of those boards and um, causing any sort of uh, degradation uh, in the wood. So. One of the cool things about that is, especially if you live in a place like Colorado, where it's not generally humid, it's kind of humid today, but that wood floor will usually outlast the use of the trailer that you're gonna need it for. So we always tell people, you have to check your wood floors. It's still a natural material, but in Colorado, these wood floors do really good. They actually have a little bit of flex to them. So a lot of people like the wood floors because they give it a little bit more flex than a solid floor. This customer also opted for some feed bags, which is pretty cool. Um, they come standard with the little D-ring, so if you wanna add in your own feed bags, you can. But these triangle feed bags that Logan's offers, uh, they have a mesh bottom, so if like we just sprayed this trailer out to get it ready for the video, uh, you don't have any water pool in that. Keeps everything 
um, able to dry out without letting mildew build up on it. Opti or sorry, uh, LED lights in the stall area as well. They're on individual switches as well as the master switch on the exterior here. And then this divider right here is telescoping. So I've got it clipped back in this position right here, but you can always pull it out and you all of a sudden have two stalls. So 36 inch wide stalls on your Logan bullseyes. If you ever had to run as a box stall, you can clip that back to the side and you've got a nice big space. A lot of people like having multi-purpose uses for their trailers. So if you need to haul a lawnmower to the shop or something like that, it just gives you that flexibility without having to take that divider out. Spotlight on the rear as well. And then Logan's new tail lights are actually backup lights as well. So if you throw your truck in reverse, this little center portion here will light up nice and bright. It just gives you some flexibility. You don't have to run all the way to the back. Flip on your rear load light. This is gonna light up nice and bright for you. As we work our way around, you're gonna see more LED lights up top, more tie rings on this side, and then the world famous Logan drop downs. Everybody loves these screens that Logan has standard on, on all of their bullseye models and riots. This center bar just collapses and it goes into that little track on the inside. And then these are nice and heavy duty. They suction to the side of the trailer with one of those pop sockets. Um, they are actually a framed in, built out window frame. So, you know, instead of having the piano hinge, very cheap, um, kind of pliable drop down windows that a lot of trailers have, this upgraded framed in window is a really big hit on these bullseyes. And a lot of people really like that they have this bar that works all the way down, it makes it really easy to open and close that latch. I think Logan has one of the best closing drop downs out there. Extrusions on this side as well. This adds more structural strength. Now this is a sold trailer, but if you guys have any questions, we generally try and keep some of these on hand here, or like I said, we can always check with Logan's inventory and see what they have if you want a very specific color. You can always check out our website, 5N240045. We can send you over the spec sheets and if you wanna duplicate this one, we can get one coming just for you. If you guys have any questions, I'd be more than happy to walk through it with you today. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970. 3096368. You can call or text at that number. I'm more than happy to walk you through what we have on inventory or get you something on order. So thanks so much for tuning in today. Have a great day.